Kashmai. Here's the piece. Today I'm going to show you how to install the Oasis map hub and the ZDL patch and the Borderlands 1 editor. First, go and open the Steam directory of your Borderlands 1. So, Borderlands 1 is installed under C, your programs x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, and there's your Borderlands 1 folder. Now open the ZDL patch and copy and place everything into the root directory of your Borderlands 1 and just replace if it asks for. Do it for all conflicts. So now if you have Windows Vista you have to start the fix file and if you have Windows 7 you have to open the Win7 file. No. It opens the CMD and just press any key and it will be done. So you have now the ZBL patch. Now let's install the Oasis map hub. Open the zip file and copy and paste all into the root directory. If it asks, just replace the files. After that, we are going to make the Oasis map hub into the fast travel system. Open the willow tree program and just wait a little moment. No, just press at the tree and open. Your save files will under be the, your documents folder and the my games folder and then in Borderlands 1. Then now under save data there will be your save games. Just open your save game and at the top you will see your character's name, so you will easily find it. Go into the general tab and I will delete my oasis now, but I'll show you how to gain it. Get it. Open, press on new and scroll down and press on your oasis if you find it, then save. Press OK and now I'll show you guys how to get the editor for Borderlands 1. Now open Henry's folder in the root folder of your Borderlands 1 and there you will see the Borderlands exe, right click on it and press send to desktop. Now you have there a shortcut and go on to, to the shortcut tab and there you'll find a property called target and at the end just press the spacebar and then make a minus and write editor. It has all to be written small in small letters. So then you can start the editor. And there it is. So now to talk about the UDK, the Unreal Development Kit. And it's it's powered by the Unreal Engine. And it's unstable with the Steam version. Maybe you have the problem like me can't duplicate things or something like this, but if you have the retail version of the game, you will have no problems with that. But you have to install everything in another folder, not the Steam folder, because it's a retail, retail version of the game and it has another path. So the UDK should start of a few seconds, and yeah, mine just looks like it's loading because I wanted to tell you a little bit about it and this is just a picture I've made. If you want to know how to install custom maps and things like this just um, look into the description of this video and I'll be writing there a little explanation on how to install it and if you have problems just comment under this video and I'll be making a tutorial for that. So, have a nice day and comment, like, subscribe, however you like, just tell me your opinion.